Hey guys, welcome back to the pitch. In today's video is about Radomir Falcao, aka the Tiger. For starters, Radomir Falcao was destined to play on the pitch because from a young age, a young Falcao showed interest and passion about the beautiful game. Not to mention his father was a Colombian defender who competed in the 1980s Summer Olympics. At 13 years old, he made his career debut with a small second-tier Colombian club, which made him the youngest debut in Colombian football ever. At 15, Falcao joined the youth squad of the Argentinian team River Plate. On the youth squad, he showed his peers how determined he was, and he showed his coaches how much talent he had, which is why they gave him the nickname the Tiger. At 19 years old, after years of proving himself, Falcao was finally promoted to the senior squad. He played his first season with the club as a first team regular and scored two goals early on, but unfortunately he had sustained an injury to his right knee which required surgery and kept him out of commission for the next six months. Falcao would continue to play for the club for the next five years of his early career. During the course of those five years, Falcao would mature as a striker, which is why he made 105 appearances and scored 44 goals in total before his departure from the club. In 2009, when Falcao had decided to leave River Plate, major clubs had directed their attention to signing the young Colombian prodigy since he was a striker that had a deadly finish. The club that finally managed to sign Falcao was the Portuguese club FC Porto. Falcao's first season with the club was just remarkable because he had scored 34 goals and made 43 appearances for the club. The next season he would play with the club was also successful because he helped the club win a treble and he scored 38 goals in just 42 matches played. Since Falcao had been so successful with Porto, he had the La Liga team Olympico Madrid paying close attention. So when he was supposed to extend his contract with Porto in 2011, he instead signed a deal that was potentially worth 50 million euros with Madrid. And at this time, this deal was the highest paid fee for Olympico Madrid. Just like his time with the Portuguese club was brief, his time with Madrid was also like this. But this did not stop Falcao from performing at an excellent level because in two seasons he was able to make 91 appearances, score 70 goals, and win a couple of trophies along the way. This is why most people say the Falcao deal was the best purchase of the 21st century. After his brief time in Madrid, Falcao had the world at his feet Therefore, he took his prowess to Monaco in a deal that was worth 60 million euros. His first season at Monaco was going pretty well until he sustained an ACL injury which left him sidelined for the next 6 months. Plus, this injury made him miss the 2014 World Cup. Eventually, Falcao recovered from this critical injury, but the club AS Monaco had changed the plan they originally had for the club because they sold most of the players they bought during the time they were signing Falcao. This is why he went out on loans after his injury with clubs like Manchester United and Chelsea, but Falcao never performed as expected for those clubs. Given the fact he didn't perform well with the Premier League, he returned to Monaco for the remainder of his contract. For the years he had left, Falcao made a total of 40 goals before he moved to the Turkish club Galatasaray where he is currently performing well. Throughout Falcao's impressive career, he has performed relatively well for all the teams he has played for. This includes the Colombian national team, which is why he is currently the leading goal scorer for Colombia. But this is not his only achievement, because he has won 13 trophies throughout his career, he was global best footballer in 2012, and he was the scoring champ back-to-back -back for the Europa League. In Falcao's prime, the main reason for his success on the pitch is because he has a strong weak foot which allows him to have flexibility when it comes to scoring. Anyways guys, Radimir Falcao has had an incredible career and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day.